since the summer, your military has made enormous progress in regaining your territory, most obviously Kherson. I suppose the question I have for you is, what about Crimea, which Vladimir Putin annexed in 2014? Is your war aim now to retake Crimea, or would merely taking back the Donbass be enough? Thank you for this question. Our war is the war for our lives. As you do remember the um, scale of occupation by Russia of our territory and what happened in, since the 24th of February. And our objective was to stay strong and bring back the life and peace on our land. Unless we deoccupy the, our um, whole territory, this will not bring peace to us. Unfortunately, this is the leader of Russian Federation. This is his decision. We see this. They don't want Ukraine to develop. Ukraine has chosen its way forward, and it will develop. And it is developing. In some areas, we're developing faster, even during the war, than Russia Federation, which doesn't have war on its soil. And so for the stability of the situation for our country, we, we have to take certain steps. And I think that restoration of territorial integrity of our country is one of those important steps to be made, and also the support of international community Investments, and, is, and, and is, just to be absolutely clear about it, deoccupying, as you as you put it, includes Crimea. It, it is an important difference because it would be taking the border back to where it was, the effective border where it was in 2014. Is that your is that your starting point before peace can happen? Krim, Crimea is part of Ukraine. This is not just a state within a state. It's part of our country and part of our sovereignty. Therefore, indeed, the occupation of, of the Crimea and Donbass will bring the end to the war.